Oh, this, this book is upside down. Ah. Dave Wheeler. Forgot his other name. <laughs> but if you're into the immature jokes, like my balls, if you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jay, and today I am here with a review for Don't Get Caught by Kurt Danan. I was sent this book by the author in exchange for my honest review, and I actually really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, so if you want to hear my thoughts on this book, stick around for the video. So without further ado, let us get started! So this book follows Maxwell Cobb, and he has always just been known as just Max. He's like a nobody in his high school, nobody really knows who he is. So when Max receives this note in his locker from the Chaos Club, which is this organization that is run in his school that basically just pull off giant pranks, the note says that he needs to meet them at the water tower and not to tell anybody. When he arrives at the water tower, he's greeted by four other students, Kate Malone, Ellie Wick, Tim Adelta, and Dave Wheeler, and they've also received invites. They think that they're going to be offered a spot in the Chaos Club, so they climb to the top of the water tower, and that's when they realize that they are in serious, serious trouble when the high school security team shows up and they realize that they've been set up. They then dub themselves the Water Tower 5, and they decide that they are going to start a prank war in order to stop the Chaos Club once and for all. I think that this book was such a good debut novel. I thought it was so funny, and it's a lot of stupid, immature, one-liner kind of jokes. Kind of the stuff that you would see on SNL. It's just... They're stupid humor, but like I'm really immature, so I like the stupid humor stuff, so it was like right up my alley. But I think it would be the perfect book for teenage boys. I think all teenage boys would love this book because it's it's just stupid, but it's cute. The book is pitched as the combination of Breakfast Club and Ocean Eleven, which I think is like the perfect combination to describe it as because it actually fit it so well. It was cute and funny, but also really exciting to read about the adventures that the Water Tower 5 got into and everything that they did together was just so much fun to read about. I really liked Max as a main character. I thought he was super snarky, but he was also just genuinely a good person and you could tell that he really thought about his actions and the consequences that they could have. So that was really nice to see in a high schooler. Because usually high schoolers are just like, I can do what I want because nothing can touch me because I'm a high schooler and that means I'm not an adult yet. I really loved the witty banter that all the characters had with each other and I thought that the way that Kurt wrote the jokes weren't overdoing it. Like some of them were kind of like, okay really, like you're really gonna pull that one? And, but most of them were pretty funny. I actually found myself laughing out loud at like the first two pages of the book, which doesn't happen for me, so that was really cool. I think that every single character in this book was relatable in some way, which was really refreshing because most books I can relate to like one or two characters and that's it, but in this one I was actually able to relate to every single character no matter who they were. And I also think that every character developed and grew in their own right during the story, which was really nice to see. I thought that the writing was really well done in this book, and I thought that it was really engaging the entire time. Usually I find myself getting bored about halfway through a book, but the entire time I was reading this book, I wanted to keep reading, which doesn't usually happen a lot with me. So I was really excited about that. I wasn't really wanting to put it down because I got bored at all. It was very fast-paced and funny to read. The ending was kind of obvious if you actually paid attention during the whole book. It could have been easily overlooked if you didn't pay attention to one part of the story that kind of gave it away, but I was able to call it, but I think a lot of people won't be able to call the ending, which will be nice because personally I don't like being able to call the ending, but with this book I didn't really mind it. Also, I just want to say that when you flip the corners, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but when you flip like the corners of the book, it's like a cow flipping and it just makes me so happy. He does backflips and I just, I love it so much. I'm a child, I know, but it got me so excited when I noticed it. It's so cute. Alright guys, so that was my review of Don't Get Caught by Kurt Danan. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I would recommend it if you're into like immature, stupid humor. If you're not, then probably don't pick it up because you're probably not going to like it. If you like SNL or like Mad TV or things like that, you're probably gonna like the book. It's funny. I enjoyed it. 
That's just because I'm immature. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!